So right after the iOS 26 update, if your iPhone's flashlight is not turning on, it's missing on kernel panel, or even grayed out, let's see how to get your flashlight back and get it working just in seconds. So you can access the flashlight from a couple of places. First of all, you're supposed to find the torchlight option on your lock screen, from where you can turn it on or off. If it's not turning on in there, then unlock your iPhone and then swipe down the kernel panel. You'll see a torchlight icon in there as well. You can turn it on, increase or decrease the beam from here as well. If the icon is missing here, don't worry, from kernel panel, tap on this plus sign, then tap on add a control. You can either search for torchlight in the search bar or if you can see the option, just tap on it. It'll be added to your kernel panel and then just tap over the empty space. Even after that, if it stops working next time, just make sure your iPhone's got enough charge and not on low power mode. Cause in both cases, torchlight might not work properly or at all. Now the flashlight option might also not work in case your iPhone overheats. So in that case, just leave your iPhone for a while to cool down. Apart from all these reasons, it might act up for software glitches, especially if it's grayed out. So let's force restart your iPhone once. Press and release the volume up and down button and then press and hold the power button until it shows the Apple logo on your screen. Now there is an interesting way to test if your torchlight is still working and that is your camera flash. Just go and open camera on your iPhone and go to the video mode and then hold down this lightning icon at the top. That's your flash. And from here, just select on and then just go ahead and see if the flash is showing. That means it's not a hardware issue. If the flashlight is still not working and maybe I've done some changes in the settings for which it stopped working. So let's reset all settings on our iPhone. From settings, go to general, scroll down for transfer and reset iPhone. Tap on reset and then tap on reset all settings in this list. Verify yourself if prompted. This will not delete any data, although make sure you got your Wi-Fi password. And then just tap on reset all settings a couple of times. Now, after your iPhone restores from reset all settings, if there is no hardware issue, your flashlight will work properly. And lastly, always try to look for an available newer version of software update. Because you know, updates come with bug fixes. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.